Hey everybody, this is Michael Smiley. Um, usually I come on here and post videos, um, review videos and stuff like that, but today I think that it's kind of important to talk about Britney Spears. Now I've been a fan <laughs> since 1998 and I got to see her for the first time on May 17th, 2017, and um, she is absolutely amazing. So I've been, you know, this crazy fan for over 20 years now, and it's really sad because this woman, first of all, the reason why I love her so much is she is two different people when she is on stage and she's Brittany the performer she is in character she plays several different characters while she's on stage and um, sorry my dog is kind of going crazy right now um, anyway, when she's on stage, she she's a completely different person. She's very confident, uh, she's very much in control, and she's one of the best entertainers and performers ever. And, um, you know, everything from the production to the costumes to the dancing, she's a powerhouse dancer, and her style absolutely everything and I really really love um, her music aspect because she's one of those singers slash artists where you listen to their music to escape your shitty lives basically um, even if it's just for a moment and you can hold on to you know different memories that you connect with you know each song or you know when they came out and stuff like that and um, music really does um, speak volumes to your soul uh, music is very important and I love that she is not all gloom and doom when it comes to music she leaves that for people like Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Celine Dion like they are powerhouse vocalists, so they should do powerhouse ballads and, you know, all the mushy, lovey stuff. Which, Brittany can do mushy, lovey stuff too, but Brittany, when she is Brittany the performer, she wants you to have fun. She doesn't want you to make you feel down. She wants you to, to feel up about yourself um, and you get you in good spirits. And I think that that's extremely important, and I think that's why I love um, Brittany, the artist, so much. Um, and when she is Brittany offstage, she is extremely, uh, extremely human. She's literally the most humble celebrity in the entire world. I don't know a single other celebrity that's more humble than she is. She's vulnerable. She's... But she is very strong. She is an amazingly strong woman. <clears throat> she is an amazing mother to her two sons. And I think now is the time to really step up for her because I think that all of her fans should come together because I could understand she obviously went through in 2007. Everybody knows what happened. And everything, and I think that the conservatorship that she was placed under um, was meant to help her originally um, at its initial state when it first did happen. Um, I really do believe that it was put in place to protect her well being, to get her back on track, and to shield her and guard her when needed and necessary. And, you know, that was supposed to end after a year. Brittany went on the circus tour, came out with a huge, you know, huge comeback. She had a number one album, number one 
tour, like, number one single. She released plenty of singles. She did massive promotion for Circus. And <clears throat> she proved that she was back on track and stable. Well, then her dad didn't relinquish... He didn't terminate the conservatorship after she had proved that she was stable. Everyone has a bump in their road. Okay? Everyone. Her being Britney Spears being literally the biggest thing since Madonna, of course, it's going to look a million times worse when there's literally over 50 paparazzi out of, you know, outside of your home taking pictures of you and writing nasty stories about you and making you look like, you know, you're going crazy in the bad guy or whatever. <clears throat> so, not everyone has that. Everyone goes through bad times in their life. And it's extremely sad how the world treated her at that point in time. And I'm, I'm glad that um, this time around, because it is 2019, and um, she was placed in a mental facility, and I'm glad that the world is um, rooting for her and not against her like they originally did. I'm glad that the conversation has completely flipped from what it used to be. I think that she was the one that changed the very nature of um, talking about that kind of stuff. And um, I think that uh, the conservatorship should have been over back in 2009. Bernie proved herself. Um, <clears throat> and now there's like so many different allegations and reports on basically everyone is mooching off from her. Everyone is a leech around her. They only want her for her money. Literally. That is the only reason Kevin Federline, he's been a leech since forever. He's a disgusting human being. Um, Adam Lieber, Lou Taylor, um, Larry Rudolph. Brittany fired Larry Rudolph in 2007. She didn't rehire him back. Her dad did when he was conservator. Um... Gosh, I think the only good person in Britney's life was uh, Felicia Colada. And nobody else, really. I mean, I guess her mom, but what is her mom doing to help her daughter in the situation that she's in right now? So, to back things up a little bit. <clears throat> so... <laughs> Bernie's been in a conservatorship for 11 years. 11 years. Over a decade of her life. A conservatorship is for people who literally cannot take care of themselves. For elderly or disabled people. Like disabled people as in you can't feed yourself. Those kind of people. Brittany can not only feed herself, but she takes care of her children. She goes to dance rehearsals. She puts on world. She goes on world tours and works full time, doing massive promotion for her albums and her tours and her merchandising and all that other stuff. And yet she is unstable. Now, in order for them to keep her in this, they decided to put her in a mental facility recently. And I think that that was a way to make it look like she was still crazy and for them to keep their hold on her so they can leech off from her more. Um, the biggest thing that really sticks out about this and, and really confirms it, is that Andrew Wallet, her co-conservator, because he was a co-conservator with her dad over her 
personal well-being and her estate and everything. The two of them were. <clears throat> he, four months after he asked for a raise, because he was making something like $30,000 a month, where um, four months after he asked for a raise and it was approved, he requested for an immediate resignation um, regarding him over doing the conservatorship thing. Um, otherwise, it would cause harm to the conservator to the conservator e. Um, what is that supposed to mean? Answers now, like that's crazy. Um, <clears throat> and you know it's re really disgusting because Brittany went through the whole two thousand seven thing. Um, with a disgusting individual, Sam Lutfi, who um, Lynn wrote about in her book uh, extensively about that whole time period. And he has, I think it was like six restraining orders, previous uh, restraining orders, um, in addition to Brittany's restraining order against him, or the one that her dad had against him. Which is duly deserved because he was garbage. Um, but right now, 11 years later, like the conservatorship, I think, was meant to help her in the beginning, but they have done nothing but uh, hold her children over her head to. to be their money-making machine and it's disgusting and to keep her doped up doped up on meds now the reason why she is in the mental institution now is because she refused to be doped up all the time on medication that's the reason why you're gonna put your daughter in a mental institution is because she refuses to take things that make her not herself, if you were to take a, <clears throat> and it's really weird because you can tell that she's been off from them for a while and that she's acted completely normal and not insane, you can take any video of 2011 and during the femme fatale era and you could tell that she was heavily medicated and she was not herself. Heck, she, during interviews, she didn't even know if she wanted to perform anymore. It was that sad. Now, if you were to take an interview from 2016, the difference is, is astonishing. It is clear that she is herself when she is not drugged out by medication that they think that she needs and she obviously doesn't because she's been normal the entire time. Another thing that um, discredits them is that if she has a mental disorder, why wasn't she on medication before for the first five years of her career when she was a global superstar and she didn't have people cramming meds down her throat then. Nothing was an issue then. And then she got in a bad situation with um, Sam Lutfi, or whatever his stupid name is. And um, and th she had a rough patch, and now she's deemed insane. No, no, she's not. She doesn't have a mental disorder. Otherwise, this would have happened throughout her career, not just one year. <clears throat> so, a lot of there's a lot of fishy stuff going on. There's just a lot of obnoxious, stupid stuff going on. Um, and they're forcing her to make it look like she's crazy so they can still have power over her now to Lou Taylor 
Larry Rudolph and Jamie Spears. You're disgusting and you're no better than Sam Levy. He was the monster before, but you are the monster in Britney's life now. You need to remove yourself. I think that you need to be put under criminal investigation because you used your... Uh, Britney's dad used his sick... Uh, like, his colon ruptured and everything. <clears throat> and he had... He made that the excuse for Britney, you know to cancel domination and everything when that's not why domination was canceled it was because Brittany didn't take her meds so he had her admitted to the um, mental institution um which no one still knows what mental institution she's even in which is really disturbing she has been non-vocal on social media for like four months and it's really freaking crazy um they are no better than the monsters that they tried to weed out of her life. Um, and Jamie didn't even fight against Kevin Federline when he asked for a raise. If you cannot take care of two children on $20,000 a month, there's an issue. And any judge who would approve you getting more needs there needs to be reevaluated. Um, I think that the judge in the conservatorship is completely corrupt, and I think that there needs to be an investigation on that judge as well, <clears throat> because there there is no logical reason or excuse for a woman in her. Now she's pushing mid to later 30s to be under a conservatorship when she is fully capable of taking care of herself, going on three world tours, doing a four-year residency in Las Vegas, doing countless promotion, photo shoots, public appearances, interviews, and everything for albums and tours. There is no excuse. There is not one logical reason why Britney should still be in a conservatorship. I think that they are far beyond an illegal point. I think that they have violated Britney's human rights as a human. Because, like I said, in the beginning, yes, it was necessary to take absolute control and weed these monsters out and get her on track and she did and she got stable and everything real quick <clears throat> because all of a sudden she was already in the studio recording an album and doing rehearsals for her comeback tour and everything out like it was crazy how fast everything came together. And with somebody who just went through so much, I think that that was extremely fast. If she, if she's not if she's not uh fit, then why would you have her so quickly whip an album up and rehearsals for a tour if you think that she's unstable? There's so many so many wrong things that are going on. So many wrong things. Sorry for all the yawning, guys. Um, it's 11.18 right now where I'm at, and I worked all day. kind of tired. But I feel like this needed to be said um, because everybody else is saying it, and I, I think that it cannot be said enough until she is free. Brittany needs to be free. She needs to take Kevin Federline back to court and get custody of her children. And he needs strict supervision rights for his children because if you are, if you need $100,000 to um, take care of two kids a month, then there's something wrong with you. You need to be assessed. Um, 
I, I completely think that the judge in this conservatorship needs to be brought up on criminal charges and investigated. I think that the same needs to go for Larry Rudolph and Lou Taylor and um, and Jamie Spears. I I think that they are exploiting her, and I think that's disgusting. I think that um, putting her in a mental, a mental institution against her will is sickening, and um, you are no better than Sam Levy. You are no better than the monsters that you did originally get out of her life. Um, and that's sad. And I want to, I want to address her family a little bit because, um, I read or I heard somewhere where they washed their hands of the whole situation because they tried at one point in time or whatever, and that's nice and everything, but apparently you're not really family because me being an, an individual, if, if, Let's say, for example, Bernie Spears was my sister, and I saw that my dad was literally emotionally abusing her with hanging her kids over her head as a tool, weapon to make her and force her to continue this conservatorship and the whole nine yards and put her in a mental institution to make it look like she's crazy when she's perfectly fine and she showed 11 years of being fine i would not stop i would hire a lawyer jamie lynn spears has money where is a lawyer i don't care if you have the same manager fire that manager fire lou taylor it's really simple. I would weed out people very quickly if it was my family. Get rid of the parasites in your life. Um, it's really simple. Um, if you care about your sister, you need to be stepping up. <clears throat> you have the money. Um, haven't heard a peep from Brian. Haven't heard a peep from Jamie Lynn. Um... You only see the most from Lynn, but she's not even doing anything, and she made money off from the book that she wrote about, all, you know, the family and everything and the events that took place and everything. Where are the lawyers? Where is a lawyer stepping up and fighting this? Where are the charges that should be brought up? And they have several... Several, um, oh, what is that? They have several, um, I, I can't think about it right now. The judge, the corrupt judge, they have an obnoxious overload of evidence where throughout the years that shows her corruption um in the whole conservatorship arena and everything she is a corrupt and or the judge is a corrupt individual and she should be dealt with um and another funny thing that i should point out too Brittany and her father were never close, okay? And I do applaud him for stepping in at the perfect time to help his daughter. He should have done it way before. But got to give him props for stepping up to the plate, right? Um, But the reason why... Lynn divorced Jamie was because he was a drunk. Brittany did not get along with her dad. It is public knowledge that they are not close. They were they were never close. So for a drunk to come into her life and have power over her and making it look like she's crazy and everything 
and the mom not being able to do anything about it and the family because their their dad has too much power now is insane. Um, I think that somebody should take a good hard look at that. Um, I think that Lynn needs to be more vocal and really step up to the plate. And um, something that I really, really do want to get off my chest and say is that <clears throat> I really, really am so... Um, major props and so proud of the two women that do the podcast, the Brittany Graham. They are amazing women. And um, they deserve a round of applause, and I really hope... I mean, I'm excited that they've uh, really um, opened the door to... Um, all this nonsense that's going on. They've really dug up a skeleton that it's really crazy. And the, I really thank them from the bottom of my broken heart. No, but seriously, I really do thank them um, for stepping up to the plate because it's really sickening that her own family won't. Um, and it's really sickening that so many people are taking advantage of her when they're so, such hypocrites because they got rid of the people that were taking advantage of her and they're doing it worse. They're... <sighs> Andrew Walla alone, one person was making $30,000 off from her a month. Kevin Federline is making $100,000 off from her a month. Like... That's not including Larry. That's not including Jamie. That's not including Lou Taylor. That's not including any of the dancers and assistants and all those other people. That's like three people that I just listed off and they're making like close to $200,000 with just the three of them. Or whatever it is. That's uncalled for. That is taking advantage of someone and really violating their well-being, their rights, and the whole nine yards. And somebody really, really has to step up. And I'm really glad that these two women are from the the Brittany Graham um, podcast. I really applaud them, and I thank them. And I'm really so excited that this is making news all over, all over the place. And... <clears throat> I'm, I'm really glad that they're not backing down. And I, I just really hope that a lawyer gets involved and really deals with this situation. And even if it's a lawyer who steps up for Brittany to work for Brittany, and obviously they're not going to get paid now, but why not step up work for Brittany and get her out of the situation because you know that Brittany is going to pay you. You know that Brittany will give you a nice little bonus for helping her out of this situation. There's no reason why not one single lawyer doesn't step up to the plate and do this freelancing until she gets out and then they can collect their paycheck because you know that she will because she's waited so long to be free 11 years is unacceptable and you'll have your whole plate filled because there are so many criminal charges that you need to be filing there are so many that you need to be filing there is so much fight to be had and it needs to be a lawyer that is not not afraid not afraid of the fight somebody that's gonna soldier on like Brittany has for the last 11 years so I I think that it's important because 
if people are allowed to get away with this and violate another human like this, and they're a celebrity, could you imagine? Hmm. And Brittany's an extremely nice, humble human. It's not like she, you know, wasted half of her career on drugs and treated other people like garbage and did really awful things or anything. She had a bump in the road, and now she's having to deal with that for 11 years. That's unacceptable. It is, if you look into the whole Britney case, there is so much that is wrong. There is so much. There is so much. It is complete chaos. It's a hot mess, is what Britney's conservatorship is. And, like I said, conservatorships are not meant for... A woman who has proved time and time again that she is a down-to-earth, normal person who works out. I mean, you can check out her Instagram. She loves clothes. She works out. She eats healthy. And most importantly, she loves and takes care of her children. Because her children come first. Obviously. <clears throat> So there's there's just no excuse that um, there's no excuse why she's in a mental institution when she was doing just fine. She was in the middle of rehearsals for her second Las Vegas residency because she's done <clears throat> in eleven years in eleven years since her breakdown where she is unstable. She released Circus. So she was put on a 5150 and hospitalized in January of 2008. <coughs> and I think February or something like that. Um, the album came out on her birthday of December 2nd of the same year. So you have Circus. The album came out in December 2008. She kicked off and was already rehearsing for her circus tour that kicked off in, I believe, March of 2009. Um, she took a year off for 2010, but she is still recording an album that was Femme Fatale, Femme Fatale that came out in 2011. And I think it was March 2011. So, you have Circus, the first album. You have a world tour. Then you have another album. Then she went on the Femme Fatale tour. Same year. 2000, uh, okay, so 2008. Uh, first, she came out with Circus, the album. 2009, she uh, did the Circus tour. 2010, she was recording Femme Fatale. 2011, she released Femme Fatale, and she went on her Femme Fatale World Tour and did promotion for that. 2012, she did The X, fact the X Factor. 2013, she released Britney Jean <coughs> and started her Las Vegas residency uh, very shortly after. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, and then she has been doing the residency, you know, from 2013 and still all the way up. She did the residency from 2013 to 2008. Well, 2017 was her last year because... Uh, it was the ball drop where they did the, the last performance there. But anyway, <clears throat> where she was doing her last show. And in 2016, 
she released another album, Glory, did promotion all over the place. She even went on the VMA stage again that she hadn't done since 2007. And she really, she did the Billboard Music Awards. She did all these radio and talk shows and interviews and performances. She performed Make Me All Over the Place um, on the Today Show, on the VMAs. Uh, she performed at the Billboard Music Awards. Uh, and she performed on, on some other shows there over in Britain and everything. And she did interviews over there. She was all over in uh, 2016. Uh, 2017, she went on a world tour. Uh, in the summer. And... Then she came back for her last couple dates uh, to end out the year of 2017. No. I did that wrong. I think it was 2018 was when she went on the world tour. Yeah. Because <clears throat> she was still doing her residency in 2017. But see, it's so confusing because she's been working the whole time. It's just that it was the same show. It was just, you know, where she was doing the res residency and the tour. But that's how much she was working. Um, so regardless, she was doing a show, no matter whether she was on tour or whether she was doing a residency. And then 2019, it was announced that she was doing another residency domination and then that got canceled this year because of this whole fiasco so she's literally worked every year all 11 years since she was determined as unfit and unstable wow that's pretty impressive that's pretty impressive for somebody that can't take care of themselves to to work continuously for 11 years straight. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. No red flags for anyone? None? Okay. So, <clears throat> you have a <laughs> an adult woman... Mind you, on top of of consistently working, she had her kids 80% of the time. There's plenty of, of proof of that, of paparazzi photos, Instagram videos, the whole nine yards. <coughs> so, yeah. So on top of working for 11 years straight, when you're unstable and unfit... You're also taking care of your kids because your worthless ex-husband, <clears throat> who is collecting a nice paycheck and wants raises and everything, because he somehow can't manage to find his own job. Um, yeah, taking care of your kids, working full-time. Sounds like a pretty unstable... Uh, unstable and... Um, situation, really. I don't know how else to say it. <coughs> Sorry, guys, the air in my place is dry. But, unfit and unstable, but you can work full-time and take care of your kids. But we're still going to throw you in a mental institution so we can control you. But it's not raising any red flags for anyone. Even though Andrew Wallet, who's been conservator since day one, just like her dad, uh, left after getting a raise because it would cause harm to her. <coughs> because um, he didn't want to be a part of it. Because he knows that it would get him disbarred. Because it's illegal. It is illegal. 11 years. 
with her proving how how normal she is and how not unstable she is and everything and he knows that she's perfectly fine obviously because he there's no reason why somebody that's been a conservator of someone for 11 years and making that much money and just got a raise is going to say going to petition a court to resign immediately otherwise it would cause harm to the individual that they've been a conservator for for 11 years that's him trying to get out of a hot mess situation <clears throat> Now, instead of running the other direction, he should be sticking up for Brittany and and uh, making sure that she can get out of this situation. Because him and her dad are the ones that put her in this situation. And <clears throat> you know what? I hope the, the pressure gets to them with all this media attention. Especially with these girls from the Britney Graham. I wish that uh, Jordan Miller from Breathe Heavy had a set of balls like they did. But he cowered when um, when Jamie came at him with lawsuits and threatened him and everything else. It's like, you know what? If I were him, I'd be like, go away, old man. You need to not be so obsessive and possessive of your daughter. And stop emotionally abusing her. Um, because that's what you are. Paying her children over her head for her to be your money making machine. She's not a machine. She's a human being. And you're disgusting for treating her any differently. <clears throat> so I think that... I, I think that, you know... Every media outlet, from Breathe Heavy to BuzzFeed, um, to these girls on Brittany Graham um, podcast, to everybody needs to put pressure on this conservatorship and have it dissolved, I including the judge, including Lou Taylor, including um, Larry Rudolph and Jamie Spears. I think that pressure needs to be put on Jamie Lynn Spears and Brian Spears and Lynn Spears as well because they're not doing anything for their freaking daughter slash sister. There's literally no reason. Why aren't you family? Like, it boggles my mind. If it was my sister, trust and believe, I would. I would throw out the nastiest details to the world about what it was going on if I didn't have the power to do something. So people would step up if I didn't have the power to do it. Like, I don't understand. It boggles my mind how they claim to love and love and love. No, you don't. No, you don't. Where is your love? I don't see you. Me as a fan, I don't see your love anywhere for your sister or your daughter. I'll see it. Prove it. Where's your lawyer? Or lawyers? Hire a nice set of them. Preferably like OJ. <clears throat> Get a whole squad of them. Bring down the house with them. That's what I want. That's what I want to see. I want to see a whole squad of lawyers walking into that courthouse to bring it down. That, that would be nice. I, I would really love for the media to put... And fans and... The world in general. Because the world is on Britney's side. The world sees it. The world has seen it. Britney has shown so many million... And that is... That's a mistake that the conservatorship did, was let her do her Instagram and let her go on tours and let her do her albums and let her do promotion because she showed how normal and down-to-earth she still was even though these leeches and parasitic people were still leeching off from her. 
for her money and did not care for her as a human being and still do not. Otherwise, she would have had her freedom a long time ago. That's the truth, and that's very simple to understand and comprehend. <clears throat> so, I think that's absolutely mortifying and disgusting that you would do that to your own family. It's mortifying and disgusting that people would do that to other people just for money. It's it's a disgusting world, unfortunately. And people need to start raising their voices. People really need to start stepping up to the plate and doing something. It just it just boggles my mind. <coughs> but that's my honest opinion about it. I really don't care who it offends. Um, and I really hope that uh, I'm actually going to buy one of those free Britney shirts from the Britney Graham website. <coughs> because um, actually I did hear somewhere that the proceeds to that went to um, uh, lawyers that were going to do something about this. So if that's the case, I'm all on board, and I'm obviously fully supportive of this movement, especially. <clears throat> I think that's very important. Um, very important to to have Brittany freed. Uh, she shouldn't be a prisoner. Um, nobody should if they're if they're a capable human being. And especially if you're a person that's proved yourself, you know, time and time again, that what you went through was only a bump in the road and you should not be punished repeatedly. The past is the past for a reason. It's time to move to the future. So, that's all that I really have to say. <clears throat> and um, I'd really love for to hear everyone's feedback on this and I would really love for people to share it. I would really love for people to to talk about the subject and to really um to really take it to the next level on social media and everything and to really put pressure on these people, these parasitic people that need to get out of Bernie's life that have been in there way, way past their their time. <laughs> I mean, I, th I used to think that Larry Rudolph was a good guy. I was fooled. I don't know enough about, I mean, I've read enough about Lou Taylor. I don't even care it's to even discuss that woman anymore. I've read enough about the corrupt judge. People need to really investigate that one. <clears throat> and people need to stand up and say that it's not okay to Jamie Spears to do this to his daughter. So, and another... <laughs> um, so... Speaking about the Brittany Graham podcast with these two women that have done such an incredible job with um, with building this movement for Brittany. Um, so it was said that during a business meeting, when Brittany was put in this uh, mental institution, that he fully supported, um, that at least it will boost ticket sales when they reannounce Vegas. So you're gonna sit there <clears throat> and and show the world how unstable she is because you put her in a mental institution. And you're going to say how fit and unstable she is, yet you want to... You're already thinking about throwing 
a mentally unstable person back in back into the thralls of work. There's no red flag for anyone? None? None at all? Come on, people. <clears throat> Let's get it together. Clearly, there's something wrong with their heads. <clears throat> Not Bernie's. Theirs. Like, the cesspool around the parasitic invasion that's happening. It needs to, you know, we need to go in there with some germex or something and wipe them out. We need to get them out of her life because they're they're just leeching off from her for everything that she's worth because they don't care about the human, they care about the money. And it's pathetic, it's sad, it's disgusting, and it shows how much of a monster that they all are. So, <clears throat> that's how I feel. So, <clears throat> well, until next time, guys. Make some noise on social media.